Welcome back to another episode of Yum Dope Tastic. It's your boy, Awesome Shad. I'm Muhammad Issa. What are we doing today, man? So we're trying out queso. Queso? We're going to four different places and trying out their queso, seeing which one is the best one. And these four places are? Velvet Taco, LaGrange, Pistoleros, and Torchy's Tacos. And we're also going to rate the queso by the viscosity slash density, the taste, and we're also rating the chips. Chips are, you know, a good partner in crime with this queso. Yeah, I mean, you can't have chips without the queso. And right? you can't so have queso without the chips. They so, go um, hand in hand. Hand in hand, just like me and you, man. Hand in hand. Hand in hand. Amazing. Yep, good to go. Mmm. Round one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, All right, dude, so I'm sweating. Give me one second. <laughs> hey, can you grab me another? Yeah, bro, I need the whole roll, to be honest. So we're at our first location. Mm -hmm. We picked Velvet Taco. Yeah, man. Um, this taco is different because it's called a red curry coconut queso. So, you know, there's a little bit of uh, coconut in there. I guess it's Thai inspired or something. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it comes with Thai basil, pickled onions, mm -hmm. and queso fresco in there. Are you ready to start, man? Let's go. Come on. Okay. Get out the way. Cheers. Okay. Mm. It's a little spicy. Nathaniel, and you could definitely, Nathaniel. you could definitely taste that basil. It's kind of infused in there, right? Or is it just my bite? I don't really taste the basil. Really? Okay. It's just a spicy queso. That's what I'm tasting. Maybe a little bit of coconut. That coconut's coming out. Yep. But other than that, um, it's okay. What would you rate the viscosity of this queso? Evan, your tacos um, ready, Evan. The viscosity, I'd give it probably like a Bam. eight and a half okay. out of ten. Yeah. It's very like kind of a little. On, ready, Joni. Joni, go get your tacos, <laughs> Joni. It's kind of on the runny side, yeah, a I little bit. Ready, oh my god, viscosity is kind of on the runny side, so I'd probably give it an eight and a half. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not super watery, so it's it's a little runny. I do agree. I like I like my queso sort of like uh, honey. You know, this is. Kind of like, like a, a runny egg, but I give it an eight. Bam. What would you give the overall taste? The overall taste, I'd probably give like a 9.5. I really like it. It's different. It's not just plain basic cheese. It's not my favorite, personally. It is, it's definitely different. It's not something you would find um, in many Tex-Mex restaurants. You know, it's, a, it's an interesting take. I'd give it maybe an eight Bam. and a half. Maybe an eight, Bam. actually. It's cool, it's a, it's a nice B. And All the right. chips, what do you think about the chips? The chips, I'd give a nine. They're pretty crispy, pretty crunchy. Uh -huh. Basic chip, nothing crazy. I'll give it an Bam. eight and a half. Yeah, um, would you order it again? Yeah, probably. probably. Probably, yeah. Okay. Like, when I come to Red Velvet or Velvet Taco, I'm getting this queso. Yeah. It's a must-have, yeah. you're saying? If I'm feeling adventurous and I want queso, I'm definitely This is only it. if you're feeling adventurous, right? Yeah. But you wouldn't go out of your way for this queso. That's not what you're saying. No, I wouldn't go out of my way. You but wouldn't, it, right? But I'm, if I'm feeling adventurous, I want something different, I'm definitely getting this queso. Really? Yeah. I'd stick to the tacos here. I don't know. This queso, <laughs> if, if it was out, I'll probably munch on it. But uh, if not, I probably wouldn't go out of my way for it. On to the next spot. On to the next spot. Let's go. Round two. So we're in our second location, LaGrange, here in Montrose. We ordered queso again, obviously, but this time it's white queso, mm. pico, and green chili. Let's go. Come on. Let's dig in. Mm, it's a little runny. Cheers. That's pretty good. That's pretty rich. That's a, that's a, that's a rich queso. Honestly, I like the white queso. They don't give you too much and you don't need too much. It's thick, it's rich. The pico and the, the green chili give it so much flavor. Me personally, I don't taste the chili or the pico. The Are white you cheese. getting it in the thing? Something wrong with this taste buds, I don't know. What would you rate the uh, viscosity, the density of this uh, queso? Um, the viscosity, I would give a 6.5. It's a little too runny for my liking. It's, it's runny. It's very runny. Yeah. I'd give it like a, I'd give it a four. Because one is like water, right? 
This is a four is what this is. What would you uh, rate the taste, the one out of the 10? The taste, I would probably say a nine, nine. Bam. I agree, I'll That's give it a, a nine. Burr. What about this chip? An eight, Burr. very basic. Light salt. I'll give it a seven. Bam. Yeah. It's ordinary. It's, it's, a, plain, it's a plain, plain Jane chip, tortilla exactly. chip. That's cool. So, uh, Aisa, on to, uh, on to the next place. Let's go. Let's go. Round three. All right, so we're at our third location. Pistoleros, yes. Uh, whose choice was this, man? Can you just like, we'll put them on the screen right here. Yeah. Uh, Someone did recommend this, right? Yeah, I don't remember this who. This person but, right here. Know. So whoever recommended this, this is all you, okay? <laughs> we're putting the blame on you. He, he's judging this place and it's queso by the look of it. It looks like- It looks it, plain, but- It I looks mean, like a hard egg cut in half. Hey, the chips, man. Chips are different. They're what? puffy. They're they a lot look homemade. Thicker. This is a denser it's chip. It's puffy, look, all of them are like... Are we ready the chips or are we ready the queso? Both. We're ready both, so let's get to both. Come on, my friend. What this queso is, it's a blend, a melted blend of cheddar, mm -hmm. monterey jack, and queso mm -hmm. fresco okay. with guac and cilantro in there. And pico, I think, as well. So... I don't see any pico, but yeah. Okay. That's a tiny piece of tomato. We get some guac in there, too. Yeah. Okay. Actually, that's not that, whoa, okay, okay. See, you're judging by the, by the look, man. Mmm. Mmm. It's very cheesy, right? It's very Velveeta, cheesy. this is what it is. It's a sharp cheddar, it tastes very artificial. Okay, I kind of like this. You like the, the cheap artificial Velveeta taste? Yeah, I don't know. That's what many Americans love. There's a little aftertaste. But I'm enjoying it with this guac, I don't know. I'm just, you're not getting the guac. I don't need the guac. We're not rating guac. It's like, Velveeta, I guess, is my guilty pleasure that I like. What would you rate know. the uh, viscosity, the density? Like a one. Bam. Honestly, I'll give it a solid 10. Bam. I like this. I'll give it a 10. It's, this is solid. This is good. It's smooth. What would you give the taste? I want to give it a 10, but I'm not going to give it a 10. Whatever you want to give it, bro. No. This is a judgment free it's zone. Vel it's Velveeta. It doesn't matter what it is. If you like it, you like no, it. It doesn't matter. It's not worth the 10, honestly. But If you want to give it a 10, you can give it a 10. No one's here to judge you. Maybe this guy, he's shaking his head. <laughs> I'll give it a seven. Bam. I'll give it a, oh. can I give it a zero? Yeah. I'll give it a zero, Bam. dude. This, this is this Honestly, is honestly, no, if I'm being super honest. Be honest. I'll give it a six. Bam. Remember this person, this person who recommended this place. What would you rate these chips, one out of 10? Like a Bam. seven. Bam. The bottom is that like, they, they're different. They have a puff to it, like, yeah, like, some of them are a little puffy, you know? Final verdict? Uh, it's a no for me, man. I'm sensing the judgment right here, and right I'm, here. I'm not, so. I'm not judging you, man. We're judging you. <laughs> On to our last and final location for this video. Round four. We're at our last location. Our final location. Where are we at? We're at Torchy's Tacos, man. Austin famous, Houston famous. Dude, everybody's blowing us up for this queso right here. Literally, when I asked on Instagram, what's the best queso in Houston? Every, literally everybody went and said Torchy, so. Make sure to follow us on Instagram right here, yeah, right you know, here. yeah. If you haven't already. What does this consist of? So it has guacamole, cilantro, white cheese, and a little Diablo sauce, which is their special hot sauce here at Freaking Torchies. Right? Uh, freaking Torchies. Do you mix this or do you just? No, I just go for it. You just go for it. Okay, so we'll just go for it. All right. Okay. Mm. I like that. I'm going for a second one. You know, I'm not a big fan of the Diablo sauce, 
It's a little too spicy. I feel like it's kind of overwhelming. So, I don't know what you're talking about because the Diablo sauce, I love it. It's perfect. It gives it a little kick, a little extra punch, you know? Maybe next time I'd order it without that little kick. But I don't want Well, we all know he can't handle the spice. I, I can love handle spicy my food. Spice. It's just... I love spicy food, so. Okay, Asa, we all understand I love spicy food. I can go back to every video that you've ever. Because I love spicy food. Oh, we get it, bro. We get it. Edmund, do you get it? Yeah. He gets it. What would you rate the viscosity, the density of this queso? I'd give it like a two. Bam. It's very runny. Very Super runny. Super runny. I'd give it a two, two. Um, a two, two? i give it a two, two. But you know, I'm not mad at it. You know, I'm not mad that it's runny, but it is a, you know, it is a two. What would you um, rate this flavor one out of 10? I'd give it a 10, Bam. honestly. I, I love this. It has guacamole. It has Diablo sauce. Can't think of any uh, any other yeah. thing to add. What it's missing, what it needs, nothing. It's, it's, it's pretty good, you know? I'll give it a nine Bam. and a half. It is the best we've had so far. And uh, these chips, what do you think about these chips? I'd say 8.5. 8.5? Yeah. You know, seven and a half. Bam. I don't know, man. These chips aren't really... This, why do we even have this chips rating? Because they're all the same. Give it a seven and a half. But it, there's, it's a bit more salted than the other ones we've got. That's why I'm giving it an 8.5. Satisfied, honestly. You're satisfied? I'm satisfied too, man. I'm, a, I'm in queso coma right now. Um, yeah, you gotta... All right. So we just came back from trying all that queso. Right, so what was your favorite? Of the four places, I think my favorite was hands down Torchies. I agree. Um, I agree. You can't go wrong with Torchies. It's, it's good all around. Everything was really good. Even though I was kind of hyping up a little bit of Pistoleros, because of, you know, Velveeta art artificialness. But... Solaros is gross. <laughs> if you want more information on the restaurants we checked out today, check the description down below. And don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that bell icon for notifications on every new video we drop. And if you want to recommend a restaurant or a trend that's going on, slide into our Instagram at yumdoptastic. Bam. And let us know what you want us to review next. And don't forget to check out our last video over here and our playlist over here. Well, awesome Shahid. I'm Muhammad Issa. And you're watching Yum Do Cash. And we're out. Oh, yes. Yep. Good to go. Mmm.